Wagwami people, welcome or welcome back. Now, in this video, I will be using this product, the Nairobi Nairoplex. And this is a protein treatment. I've already used it once on my hair, and I love the way how it makes my hair felt. In fact, while it is this pro particular protein, you actually put it in your hair, it's another dryer, and dry it out like totally. And it does feel a little bit hard, but once you rinse it out, I'm telling you, my hair felt so nice and soft. So I'm going to be using it in this video to show you how I use it. Actually, I follow the instruction on the bottle. There's no better way than following the instruction that is set out on the bottle. So that is what I did. So I'm going to be showing you how I use it on my hair and the whole process. So if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, I am doing a six months relaxer stretch where each week I'm not combing my hair for the entire week until my wash day. I do my comb on my wash day. So today is my wash day. And actually, I'm just coming in from work. I'm a little bit tired and sweaty, as you can see. So this is how I wore my hair today to work. But for the entire week, I had the wig covering the, my hair. So today is the only day. And I did not comb this section. I just use a brush and brush it up just like that and this is how it is looking so what i'm going to do i'm going to take off this headband wig because this is an headband wig that I'm, i have on so i'm going to take off this headband wig and we're going to comb the hair and see how much hair comes out if you have not yet joined this relaxer stretch challenge then of course you are welcome so let's get into our wash day today is our protein treatment day so let's get into it so the wig is off and this is how the section that was left out is looking. So this part was all the way back. And I usually wear the wig come about here. But today, as I mentioned earlier, I had this part up in a little ponytail. And guys, can you see my new goat coming up nicely so far? So that's awesome. You can see it. Those, that is my new growth. I'm naturally here coming out. You can see it. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comment section. So at the back section, this is how my hair is looking. So I had two braids and I had this section like this flat also. Only today I pulled it out to make that ponytail as you saw there. But this is how the back was looking. Just two braids at the back. So let's comb it out now. So this is how my hair is looking all combed out and you can see that it's looking nice and moisturized so it did all the moisture that i put in my hair you can see it's not it's not looking dry and this is the amount of hair that came out this much came out so you can let me know in the comment section if you think that this is a lot, but I didn't comb my hair for an entire week and this is how much hair came up. I will show you the amount at the end of my wash because a little bit more hair will come out while I'm washing it. So we'll see. But so far, I think it's good to say that I haven't combed my hair for an entire week and this is all that came up. So time for us to go and wash. So we're going to do my wash and I'll be back. So I finish shampooing my hair or washing my hair and this is the shampoo that I use. I use the Care Care Hydrating Detangling Shampoo to get my hair clean. So now I'm going to comb my hair down gently of course and I'm going to be applying the Nairobi Protein Treatment Soap. Let's do that. Here 
is feeling really nice and soft so if you're wondering how is it as i'm getting to comb my hair even though i've just washed it and it's not yet moisturized i'm preparing my hair now for the protein treatment my hair is actually feeling soft okay So like I said earlier, the amount of hair that came out earlier, more hair will still be left in. So they will come out eventually. So this is the amount of hair that just came out. Not bad. And of course, I'm going to add it to what came out before and show you the final reveal. Okay, so let's start the protein treatment now. So I have this sprout bottle and it does come with the measurement. So it goes all the way up to four ounce, which is... 120 milliliter so i'll be using a ounce which is right here so i'm just going to screw off the top of it and then this bottle comes with a little sprout area like that so i'm just going to turn it up and then i'm going to add just a ounce in the bottle like that so now I'm going to add it to my hair and I'm going to start from the back and do this half and then this half. So let's do that. So now that I've finished applying the protein treatment to my hair, I'm just going to take this section clip and pin it at the top because now I will have to sit under the dryer until it is completely dry. So I'm not going to be putting on any steam cap on my head. I'm just going to allow the hair to be like this and sit under the dryer until it is dry. So I did use one ounce on this side one ounce on the other side so in all i use two ounces of the protein treatment on my hair so now as i mentioned earlier i'm going to be sitting under the dryer until it is completely dry so i see you so i finally came from under the dryer and this is how my hair is looking so you can see that it is looking quite stiff and it feels quite hard so i've already cooled down so now i'm going to rinse it out so this is how it's looking so you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section so i finished rinsing out the protein treatment from my hair so let's look and see what it is looking like now
so my hair is feeling a little bit when i say a little bit i mean a little bit hard but not that hard and it is feeling soft too at the same time and whenever i pull my hands on my hair no hair beautiful <laughs> so that's awesome so now i'm going to go in and i'm going to put in some moisture treatment in my hair of course you know when you do a protein treatment you must go in with some moisture treatment let me show you the moisture treatment that i'm using this is the moisture treatment that i'm going to be using in my hair and this is the terra care you make to conditioner so i'm going to apply this to my hair and cover my hair with a plastic cap and i'm going to leave it on for 20 minutes and then i'm going to rinse it out okay so let's do that So now the time is up and I'm going to be rinsing out my hair of this moisture treatment. So let's do that and I'll be back. I finished rinsing out my hair. So let's continue on this hair wash day journey that we have started here. This is how my hair is looking. look at that look at that now this product really works listen to me it works trust me look at that just a few little strands this is for my maintenance product i am going to be using the design essential leave-in conditioner there's the hydrating leave-in conditioner so I'm going to be using this in my hair now, and then I am going to be using a Nairobi foam mousse or rapid shine foaming lotion. So I'm going to be using a Nairobi foaming lotion. Okay, so let's do that.
No hair, guys. No hair is in the comb. Perfect. So, normally I would have hair dried my hair because there's no need for me to roll it my hair because I'm not wearing my hair out. But it is late. Today's, I think it's almost 10 o'clock or after 10, somewhere about there. So I'm going to actually be blow dry my hair, but I'm going to blow dry it on low heat. So, let me go and get my hair blow dried and I'll go back. So, I'm finished blowing up my hair and this is how my hair is looking. So, you can see the ends are still looking nice and blunt. I did do my trim about a week ago. So, this is how it's looking nice and fabulous. After blowing it out, this is how it's looking. And this is the blow dryer that I use. This is the black. Bird. and I did use the comb attachment because listen it's late and I needed my hair to be dry like ASP of course I was gentle with my hair so no worries there so as I said earlier I'm doing a relaxer stretch so I'm not going to leave my hair down like this I'm going to be putting it up in a little protective hair style and then throughout the week I'll be wearing my wig and so I'm going to use and utilize this coconut oil this is the blue magic coconut oil hair oil I'm going to use it and I'm just going to put two braids at the back and one at the front. So let's do that. So this is how it's looking after I've braided it. So two at the back and a big one at the front like that. Let me show you how the back is looking. Then I use this wig cap and put it over my head. Just like that, and then of course, I'll just get my wig and put it on. So, this is the final reveal. This is the amount of hair that came out. You can let me know if you think that this is too much, but this is what came out of my hair for my entire wash day or wash night. <laughs> but this is the amount. So, you can let me know. And in fact, I've been saving these. So, I'll be sharing with you in another video as to how much hair is actually shedding because you might be surprised that there is something that is happening. So, this is the amount. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. I must also mention that apart from the Blue Magic Ear Oil, I also use a little bit of the Motions Daily Moisturizer on my hair. So I put a little bit in my hand and then I put it onto the hair first and then I apply the Blue Magic Ear Oil. So just want you to know that. And since it's already nighttime, I will be tying my head with this scarf. So look guys, I've got the new tie head or new scarf and I got a few of them. So I will be sharing this and other things that I got recently in another video. So let me just tie my head. So it's looking and this is how I would just go to sleep and it's already night and I've not yet took my shower so I'm gonna bathe and I'll see you guys in the next one and in the meantime go ahead and watch these other videos these videos are a part of my six months relax the stress challenge so if you have not yet watched those here is a playlist and I'll see you in my next video bye my god